put your teepees away? Why are your teepees hanging out like that? Oh, you do look silly. You do look really silly. I'm putting this on the internet, everyone's gonna see how silly you look. Crumble, look at him. Don't step on him, just look at him. Look how silly he looks. Your brother's so silly. You would never be caught looking that ridiculous, would you? No. Hello, welcome to February's vlog. I am so out of breath from playing hide and seek with Hubble, but I am starting the vlog here. Guess who forgot to film an intro at the start of February? I did, so I'm filming it now, and I have darker hair than I have in the next few clips, so if you're wondering why I look a little bit different, that is why, but welcome to February's vlog, where I do bits and pieces by the animals, things I definitely don't really need, and I also got another surprise pet, which was very unexpected, so you'll see that in this vlog, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this, is the intro, Hubble is down here licking himself, thank you Hubble. But to start this month's vlog off, I wanted to show you that my mouse merch is finally on Teespring. I'm definitely holding the wrong side. My mouse merch is finally on Teespring. This is the sweatshirt. I got it in grey with the cream mouse on the front. Hang on, let me show you a better angle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Obviously, you don't have to go for the sweatshirt. There is also t-shirts, hoodies, even mugs, pencil cases, stickers. <laughs> Apple has got the zoomies. Um, what was I saying? I'm so distracted. Yes, yeah, so I went for the cream mouse design, which is this one, and there is also a grey one and a brown one, if you don't like this one, but I thought this looked a bit like fleet, so this is why I got this one, and I just went for the sweatshirt, which is kind of oversized, which is good, and then I've just rolled up the sleeves, because I hate having sleeves that touch my hands, I don't know about you, but yeah, this is the sweatshirt, and I'm already tempted to get the other two mouse designs. Why not? If someone's going to wear my merch, it might as well be me. So if you're interested in getting this design on anything, whether it's a t-shirt or a sweatshirt like this, my Teespring store is linked in the description. Excuse me. Licky boy. Oh, hello. Do you see yourself? <laughs> Do you want some mouse merch? Yay, so my Dainty Paws UK order has arrived and Hubble is not far away as always. I do have a few bits in here for him. Look, it's for you. You smell Millie's cats. But yeah, I ordered some hammocks and then she's also sent us these bandanas for Hubble, which I have no idea how he's gonna feel about these, but these are not gonna be for all the time use. I just wanted to have some to put on him for pictures for Instagram. And the good thing about these bandanas is the fact that they go, the collar goes through them. They're not the kind that ties around the back of the neck and they can easily come off with his breakaway collar. So perfectly safe to use with cats and I will try them on him later. So this is the one that I got to match with the hammocks that I got, which I'll show you in a second. And then she's also sent us this one, which has a fox on it. I kind of think this looks a bit like him. What do you think? What do you think? It's you. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> but the main thing which I'm really excited about is the hammocks. I'm gonna need two hands to open this, so I'll do that in a second, but Hands down, these hammocks are the best hammocks I've ever tried. Granted, I've not tried too many hammock makers, but I'm not sure what Millie does with her hammocks. They just last so much longer than other hammocks I've tried, and they're just amazing quality. So I will, of course, link her store in the description. I do also have a discount code, which I'll put on screen and also in my description box, but hands down, the best hammocks, and I honestly would probably not go anywhere else. Oh, I always feel really bad ripping the stickers because the stickers are so cute. So I got four hammocks. I went for this one, which is just a corner triangle hammock. Then I also went for a flat square hammock in the same fabric, but in blue fleece. And then I also got a, is it a double decker? Triple decker? I'm not sure. But this is again in the same fabric and then like a darker navy fleece. And then last but not least is this one. Same fabric, same fleece in the lighter blue colour. And I think they're all really cute and I can't wait to put them into the rat cage. So those are my new hammocks. I will leave her website and my discount code in the description. I think she only has customs open occasionally, so it's best to follow her on Instagram just to check when those are gonna be next open. But she does also sell the bandanas. I think she also does pet toys and name stickers. So best to check out her website, see what she's got available. But I highly, highly recommend, and that will be in the description. 
So I'm going to switch out from one very used Dainty Paws hammock for the new ones. I hate to wake you boys, but your hammock is disgusting. And we need a clean one. You've got new hammocks. Can we all vacate the hammock so I can replace it, please? Okay, ready. New hammock in three, two, one. Ta-da! Is there any better feeling than getting fresh bed sheets on your bed? Do you think they have the same feeling with hammocks? Considering they pee on this within 10 seconds of putting it in, I guess not. So I thought I'd just do the world's quickest Amazon haul because I bought a few things for the pets. There's literally like two things in here but it's still super heavy and I thought whilst I got makeup on I might as well unbox this and show you what I got. So please don't judge how I open things, I should not be waving these around. I am very uncoordinated. I feel like I have to disclose that every time I open anything. No, we're going full on caveman and just ripping the box. So the first thing I picked up is a lot smaller than I was expecting, but it's fine. I think it will still work. I really have not learnt my lesson when it comes to checking the measurements of things, but I think it will still work. This is a licky mat now. I'm familiar with these being used with dogs, and I just never thought of them being used with cats, but I saw this on my like suggested product page on Amazon, and I was like, yes, this is what I need at the moment because Hubble is teething and he's not having a very good time with it. I thought I could use this by putting some of his wet liquid treats on this, possibly freezing it and giving him something cold on his gums and his teeth. Hopefully that is going to work the way I envision this, but if not, it's going to keep him entertained regardless and just give him something extra to have as enrichment and to keep him busy during the day. So the next thing I picked up is this big boy of cocoa soil. I have not had cocoa soil for the longest time and I feel really bad because I do like using it as dig boxes or in dig boxes for my rats and my mice and I've just not been able to find any in stores. I always, always get my cocoa soil from Poundland, obviously because it's cheap and they do sell this in their gardening section which is seasonal in spring and summertime. I don't know what was going on last year, whether it was because of the pandemic, but I could not find cocoa soil in any of their stores in Poundland so we have not had any cocoa soil for such a long time. And I saw someone suggesting on the, I'll stop rustling, I'm sorry. I saw someone suggest on the rat groups on Facebook to buy it from Amazon. So that is what I've done. I won't lie at first, I was a bit put off by the price. I think it's about £15, £16 for six big blocks. But apparently this makes a lot of soil per block and it makes it kind of worth the price. So I thought I can't really go anywhere anyway to check if they have any cocoa soil and we're kind of in the middle of winter so that is not going to happen so I just put over the price and purchased this one from Amazon I will let you guys know if it's the same as the Poundland one guessing it is, it's literally just cocoa soil and I'll leave the link to this in the description in case you're also desperate for some soil for your dig boxes and I will also link the cat licky mat just in case you also want to pick up one of these I think they come in orange, green Crumble! Orange, green, blue, maybe? But I'll link both of these in the description. So I just got a delivery from Lynn, who is Aurora Rattery, who makes all of the handmade toys that I sell in my store. And apparently she's put a surprise in the box for the boys, which I have no idea what it's going to be. So I'm going to open this up and have a look. Look at all the colour! So these are new, she's made these recently and I've bought some. And these should be on the store by the time you're watching this. In fact, all of this will be on the store by the time you're watching this. These are some wicker moon shoes, which I think are really cute. And we've got so many different colours. I love the colours. And, oh, this is what she's made for the boys. She's made them a little cracker with some treats and forage mix inside. So let's give this to them, shall we? 
Oh, and then I also asked them to make me this hide for the mice. I'm so excited for this. I've always wanted one of these. I think they're quite expensive if you order them from places like Rody Pet. But I'm going to put this right up against the front glass of the enclosure to fill with bedding and spy them whilst they sleep. One of my new mice is such a weird sleeper. She sleeps in really weird positions and places, pressed up against the glass. So I'm hoping I'll get some really funny pictures of her sleeping in this. So thank you for making that, I'm really excited to use it and I'll probably put it in either after instructions or the next cage clean. I love getting a delivery because I'm really strict on the colour schemes I have for the rats and the mice but I just love all the colours. <laughs> the other day I was looking at my snail enclosure, spraying it down, and I noticed there was something on the side of the enclosure on the inside, and I looked closely and I was like, that is a stick insect. There was a stick insect in my snail enclosure and I have no idea how it got there. It must have come with the snail, I think, because I've had that exact soil with my millipedes for months and months and nothing has happened, so either it came with millipedes or it came with a snail, I've got no idea, but I had no intention of having a stick insect right now or ever really, but here he is, I have a stick insect now. So I'm still really confused how we got in my house, how he got more specifically in my snail enclosure, but he's here now, I'm going to care for him. I had no desire to own a stick insect, but he's here now, so I'm going to do my best. I put him into this little tub and I've ordered him a mesh net enclosure off eBay which should hopefully be here in the next couple of days but he seems to be doing pretty good considering I've got no idea how long he was in there by himself without a suitable food source. I just discovered him, took him out, gave him some bramble quickly from my garden and he's eating and pooping really good. He's been living for a couple of days now so I think he's going to be good and I guess I've got a stick insect now. So yeah, I'll update you when I've got the enclosure and I put him into a slightly bigger enclosure but for now he's just in this little tub and yeah, <laughs> I've got a stick insect. In terms of Slushy himself, I thought I'd just give you a quick update on how he's doing because so many people are always asking how he's doing so thank you for caring so much about a little snail. He's doing really good, he has a really good appetite and I don't know about you but I feel like he has grown quite a bit since I got him. All of this shell on the bottom is new growth and he is still a bit shy, he doesn't really come out if I get him out of the enclosure but I've just got him on this really old piece of cuttlefish just to handle him quickly but I feel like he's got a lot bigger and he's on his way to being a really big snail so hopefully this is a good amount of growth, I'm not too sure but he's doing good, he's always really active in the enclosure and I can't wait for him to be big enough to get an upgrade hopefully in the next couple of months so yeah, Slushy is doing good, just doing snail things, eating a lot of cuttlefish a lot of vegetables, so yeah, that's your slushy update, he's doing really good. So I've just been to check my PO box and I'm going to keep my mask on because I look about as dead as I feel right now. Thankfully nothing living in my PO box this time, I will link that video if you've not seen it, but thank you for all behaving and not sending me anything living this time. I do however have a lot of letters and no doubt drawings which I'm really excited about, so I'm going to open them all properly and have a really good read once I'm home, but if your name is on screen, thank you so much for sending me a letter or a drawing. I might have a quick sneaky peek now, but I've got so many letters, this really cute tiny one, and I can't wait to read them, so thank you so much. If you sent anything over the past couple of months, I am so excited to open these and read them. I also just received a really nice, I think she said it's a handmade tweet container from Nibbles and Knots on Instagram and Etsy. This is decorated so nicely, I'm not sure if you can see, I'll show you once I'm home, but there is pressed flowers and stuff which is really cute so I'll give you guys a closer look once I get home but this is so cute. Someone just pulled up next to me and I want to die inside. I am so confused when I tell you this car park is empty and I specifically parked where no one could watch me do this. Someone just pulled up next to me, got out, had a cigarette, was staring me dead in the face and then just got back in the car and drove off. I do not understand, please just leave me alone. Look how fancy this wax stamp is, I love it so much I don't want to rip it.
So I finally got some more really tiny clips to hang the hammocks I was sent for the mice in my PO box a few months ago. The mesh I chose to use on my mouse cage is very, very tiny, and that makes hanging anything a nightmare, so I was struggling to find the same clips that I bought way, way back when I was using the same mesh for my Detov, I think. But I finally found some and I've hung up one of the hammocks, and I don't think these might have had a hammock before. Maybe the two older rescue girls when I first got them, possibly, but Fleet has definitely never seen a hammock before, so I'm really excited to film their reaction. He has just woken up. Hi, boy! So this is my stick and sex little enclosure. Can you spot him? I cannot find him. He's too good at this whole camouflage thing. Oh, right there, I think. Let me zoom in. So are you ready for the big name reveal? His name is Stick Astley. So he is doing really good, actually. He eats loads and loads and poops quite a lot which I've just cleaned him out so you can't really see any evidence of that but he's been doing really good and outliving any of my leaf insects I never can get them to eat anything once they hatch but he seems to be thriving which just seems to be the way it is I didn't ask for a stick insect I really wanted my leaf insects but at least I've got something to look at that's interesting and I actually really like him I think he's really cool and this is his enclosure it's the net Thing that I unboxed earlier in the video. The only thing I don't like about this is obviously because he is quite small at the moment, I'm always terrified that when I open this he's going to be sat right on the seam and I'm going to get him stuck in the seam, but I've not done that so far. He seems to stick to the leaves, which is good. Oops. <laughs> so that is the update on the stick insect. He's got a lot bigger since I first found him earlier in the video, and I think he's probably molted a couple of times since then, so yeah, he's doing great, and his name is Stick Astley. <laughs> so I've been filming a lot of videos about my new mice recently. If you've watched the last two videos before this one, they are pretty much all centered around my new mice and introducing them to Fleet. But I thought I'd just give you a quick update on my two older girls, Bramble and Sprig, who are down here in this enclosure because obviously I've not really gone into detail about why I made the decision to not have them be a part of the big group introductions. And I just thought I would quickly explain. So Bramble and Sprig are two years old. I estimated they're about two years old in January at the earliest and that makes them elderly mice. They have started to have some old age health issues which I'll get into in a second but I have no idea when their actual birthday is because I did get them from a rescue and I have no idea if they're even from the same litter but I think gathering the fact they've started to have issues around the same time as each other I think they're probably around the same age which is sad it is that they're slowly declining and I don't think they will be with us too much longer that is quite sad but at the same time I'm also celebrating the fact they've made it to two years old without any health issues during that whole two years and it's just a case of monitoring this and caring for them in their old age. So both of them right now are asleep I'm not gonna wake them up just to show you because I was gonna show you guys them quickly but you did see them at the beginning of this video briefly I think and Bramble's issues is mostly she's had a really irritated eye for a while and I was treating that with eye drops and I think she has now gone blind in that eye. They think she's going blind in the other eye which is just an old age thing and I think she also does have a couple of really small tumours. They're quite small at the moment so nothing life-threatening at this stage but I am keeping an eye on them and that was the reason I didn't want to do introductions because she is really slow, she is really kind of unsteady on her feet so I didn't want to put her through the stress of that and obviously she does need a friend to keep her company so Sprig is doing a bit better than Bramble but I think I have an inkling and a sinking feeling that she does also have some sort of tumour on the inside which I can't see so they're both on pain medication just to keep them comfortable when they're old age but I have a sinking feeling that Sprig also has an internal tumour and there's no way of really 
telling that unless you operate on them, which is not even a consideration at their age. So they are both on pain medication just to keep them comfortable and just to monitor the situation until anything gets worse. But Sprig is doing a bit better than her sister and they're just keeping each other company. So the plan with them is to obviously keep them in this cage and that is only until the other mice are ready enough to go into this as their full big enclosure. They are not really using all of this at all. They're mostly just sleeping, eating, water, and then repeat. So they're not really making the full use of all of this enclosure. So they're gonna go into their own separate retirement cage, which is probably gonna be its own separate video, um, giving you a tour of this cage for the bigger group and then showing you their retirement home. So they're gonna do a bit of a switcheroo, but at the moment, they can stay in here until those mice are ready to go in here and then switch them over. You've probably already seen this in the videos before this one. I just wanted to show the hide that we got from Lynn, who is Rat Sesame's on Facebook. Dove, why are you sleeping out in the open? Such a weird mouse. Anyway, this is the hide that we got. I plastic coated this and just gave it a little bit of a sanding. But if I show you... <laughs> So they have well and truly buried this. I won't disturb them too much. There's Meadow. Hello. But yeah, they are loving this and I'm really loving this. When they've not covered up this section, I can watch them sleep and it's so cute. So I highly recommend picking one of these up and bugging Lynn to make one for you um, because I love them. I think they're really cool and really natural, which goes really nice with my natural theme. There is a poop. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it and I wish I could show you them sleeping, but they have well and truly buried themselves. <laughs> I recommend you all go and get one too. She also does bigger sizes for rats, which I might have to pick up. I think that'd be really funny watching Crumble try to cram his big body into one of them, but I'm really happy with it and I really recommend getting one for your mice or your rats or hamsters. So I just thought I would sit and have a chat with you whilst the rats do whatever they want to do in the background. I've been getting some really lovely messages from you. Obviously you know that I've not been 100% myself and feeling good so a lot of you have been sending me some really nice messages so thank you if you were one of those people that's been commenting or leaving a really nice message. I do see them all and I do really appreciate them but I just thought I would kind of explain what's been going on because I feel like I can only give 30% of myself to every aspect of my life at the moment whether it's making videos or replying to comments or just being a general human being I'm really struggling with it at the moment and I just thought I would explain because I would not know what was going on with me if it wasn't for other people talking about their experiences on the internet. And honestly, I don't mind oversharing. So I just thought I'd sit and have a chat about what's been going on with my health. And if you're not interested, that's fine. If you've even made it this far into the video, you can just click out if you want to. So there's two main things really that have given me grief over the past year or so. The first thing is endometriosis. I'll put the definition of what that is on the screen, but that has been extremely painful. I am waiting for an operation to look at that and remove that. And that has been obviously delayed because of COVID and I still don't have a date for when that's supposed to happen. So I'm just living with it at the moment. That makes things like sitting down, filming longer videos, really difficult and really painful because sitting down hurts for some reason. So, so that's the first thing. And then I've also been loosely diagnosed. I've not seen a specialist or a cardiologist, but my doctor has diagnosed me loosely with POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And I'm still trying to come to terms with this myself because I do think it's something I've had pretty much my whole life, at least since I was a teenager. And it's just gone undiagnosed until recently. So I'm still coming to terms with what that means for me in terms of my day-to-day -day life. But I am struggling. I feel like I can only give about 30% of myself at the moment. And I just feel really sad about that because there's so many things I want to do. I want to film more videos. I used to do two videos a week. And then I was also a pet sitter and a dog walker at the start of last year. And I just can't picture myself being able to do anything like that anymore. So basically just to summarise what I've been experiencing with POTS, POTS is basically a abnormal autonomic system and I've gone from being able to walk literally everywhere, walking dogs, walking to clients houses and just going on lots of walks with no issues, being able to stay awake most of the day. I've gone from being relatively active, I wasn't always the most active but I've gone from that to literally just standing up 
it's really difficult for me. My heart rate increases by about 30 to 50 beats per minute, depending if I'm having a good day or a bad day. 30 is on a good day, surprisingly, but that is not normal and that can cause things like heart palpitations. I feel so tired all the time, which I'd say is probably the main problem because I just can't get as much done as I'd like to. But I have actually passed out in here a couple of times, which is just so annoying, it's so scary. Obviously that's caused by the increase in your heart rate. There was a moment a couple of weeks ago where I had the mice in their carrier. I'd literally just got them home and I stood up to get their water bottle off my desk, not even walking very far. And I just fully blacked out and spilt water all over the carpet. So it's just frustrating and I'm still trying to get used to it, to be honest. Hello, say hello. Guess who's on a diet? It's you, because you're getting big. You're getting chunky. Yeah, you have. So yeah, I just thought I would talk about that just in case you're also experiencing something similar or you've also got POTS. I would love any tips you've got. Crumble. Any tips you've got in the comments, let me know because as I said, I'm still trying to get used to having this new way of having to do things. But I just feel so frustrated because I've got so many video ideas I want to do, but I just have about minus 20 energy at the moment to do anything, to reply to anyone. And I just feel really bad because there's people always leaving comments and asking me questions and I just don't have the energy to do anything. And obviously all of the energy I do have, I'm having to put into making sure that I'm looked after and obviously making sure that everyone in here is also cared for because if I have to let other things slip, like videos or day-to-day -day things, I'm not gonna let this slip with the animals or my care as well. So that is the main priority and everything else is slipping at the moment but I just have to make sure that I'm okay and the pets are okay until I can either get some treatment or just learn how to manage this and deal with it myself. So yeah, thank you for all of your messages, all your comments if you've been hoping I get better soon. Unfortunately, I don't think that is going to be the case and I think it's going to be something that's a chronic illness I'm going to have to live with for possibly the rest of my life. So that in itself is just something that I have to come to terms with but I don't think it's something that's going to go away anytime soon so those comments are really nice but I don't think it's an easy fix unfortunately so I just thought I'd explain what's been going on in terms of me if you're even interested but that's the update on my health issues I'm just trying to focus on making sure that I'm looked after the pets are looked after and I can do as much as possible in terms of making videos because I get so many lovely comments from you guys obviously meaning quite well um, saying that if I want to take a break that's fine and you'll be here if I do take a break but this is my main source of income and I can't just not post videos because then I would have no money and that is quite scary. Especially since we just bought a house which is a very very expensive thing. I can't really afford to not be working and this is my work so I can't really afford to not post videos or not run my store and not drive to the post office and post things and stuff so as nice as those comments are, I can't just stop making videos and I apologise if I'm not fully myself in the videos. Hopefully it's not coming across too much, I do edit out a lot of me just running out of thoughts and just stumbling over my words, I do edit out a lot of that but hopefully you can't tell too much that I'm not on my full game in terms of everything but yeah, I appreciate those kind of comments but I just can't stop doing my job because I have a lot of expenses and we have a lot of things need to pay for with the house so I can't not work as much as I feel like a break probably would be good for me. It does scare me though like I know a lot of people take breaks from YouTube and then they come back and their views have just gone down the toilet so I also don't want to do it for that aspect. I don't know if anyone will be here if when I come back so I'm really scared to take a break and also if YouTube ever dries up I'm kind of scared what I would do instead of that because I can never go back to dog walking if I'm in this current state it's not safe for me to be walking dogs if I'm gonna suddenly pass out so I have no idea what I would do if I didn't have YouTube so thank you for continuing to watch if you're still even watching at this point thank you because I have no idea in my current state what I would be doing as a job otherwise because I just don't feel like I would be able to if I'm passing out all the time or I'm fatigued all the time it terrifies me so I'm gonna stick with this, I'm gonna try and do this as long as possible and just push through it and make sure I'm at least doing one video a week, which I seem to be able to stick to. Crumble, what are you doing? Oh, 
as if you just opened that. Crumble, you're smarter than I thought. You're just greedy though. Do you actually want a treat? But you're on a diet, mister. So yeah, that's the update on me and Crumble has joined me for this chat. Haven't you? You've just been causing chaos behind me. You have. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop boring you talking about me, but that is the update in terms of my health and hopefully should get some sort of treatment soon. Isn't that right? You were getting so heavy. You were getting so heavy. I can't believe it. Another thing I forgot to mention is if I seem so out of breath all the time, even like mid video when I'm sat down, I think that's also something that's to do with the pots because my body is just working so much harder than it needs to for just simple things like standing up and stuff. So I'm out of breath all the time recently, which makes doing my job, which is talking a lot, really difficult. And I notice it when I'm editing and I'm sure you've probably noticed in some of my recent videos. So. I apologise for that, the fact that I'm so out of breath all the time. It's probably not the nicest thing to listen to, but I'm trying my best to continue doing this as a job, so I don't know. Also, someone commented the other day saying that my voice has changed and it's got deeper. I think that's probably the case. Also, this camera does make my voice sound deeper than my big Canon camera for some reason, so that probably contributes to it, but also I think I did read somewhere the other day that trauma or if you're in a lot of pain that can change your voice, I think. So maybe it's that, I don't know, but if you notice I'm speaking differently. Sometimes I speak really, really fast because I want to get my sentence out before I get out of breath. And not ideal when you're a YouTuber, so that's another thing that's really frustrating and it's something I'm consciously always trying not to do. So if I do that, I apologise, but my gosh, I literally just can't breathe. Whoa. Crumble. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is your diet that bad? Are you that hungry? I mean, we've all been there, but you don't need to raid the treat cupboard. No, uh, why must you steal everything? Excuse my lipstick on the end of that. Crumble. No, uh... You're so greedy. Your diet is really bothering you, huh? <laughs> Wee! So over the winter months, Hubble has decided that going outside is not nice when it's cold, which is fair enough, I don't blame him, but he just suddenly decided that he didn't really want to go on any walks, so I've had to, now that it's a bit warmer and the weather's really nice, well, relatively nice. I've been taking him outside in the garden just to get him used to being outside again. The sound of planes, like the one going over right now, kind of scares him, so he's just getting used to all the smells and the sounds and stuff, and hopefully working up to being able to go on walks again. So that's what we're doing right now, just having an explore around the garden, and he does enjoy it. He runs back in sometimes, but then 10 seconds later is asking to go back out, so just a couple things. <laughs> But this is actually the end of February's vlog, so thank you so much if you've got all the way to the end and you finished watching. Thank you so much for watching. I did just want to quickly thank all of my channel members, especially the Raptor whose names are on screen at the moment. If you do want to become a channel member and have exclusive updates, things like all of the new mice, their name reveals, that was all revealed on my channel membership. So if you do want to become a channel member, you can click the join button underneath this video to become either a mouse tier or a rat tier. And if you do, I do really appreciate it and your name might feature on next month's video so thank you so much again to all of my channel members don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye